Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's time for a whip and waffle. I am working on my Diamond Art Club Mother Earth. I should have been working on my Heaven and Earth design today. However, I am filming this whip and chat the same day it is going up on YouTube. And I went to grab my tablet that has Pattern Keeper on it and I forgot to turn it off when I did my last one and therefore the battery is drained. And it takes, it takes an hour or two to charge up enough to take it off charge and have the screen on constantly. So I figured that wasn't to be today because I need time to not only do the whip and chat, but also to get it uploaded and everything on YouTube. So here I am. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there, even though it is the UK Mother's Day. It may hit some other countries, but I lose track if I try to work out which countries have Mother's Day today and which don't. So happy Mother's Day to you all. All mums, past, present and future out there, I hope you're having a lovely day. We actually have some sun in the UK. It's like spring is coming. Well, it's threatening. We've had a really, really nice week this last week. However, it is due to go cold again. We can't say spring is here to stay. But I have been able to get some washing out on the line, so that makes me happy. Our lawn has had its first mow of the year. Albeit not a full-on garden clean and set up, but we've had a busy weekend. We've had the extractor fan and things finished off in the kitchen. We still need um, to sort out the splashbacks but we needed the extractor fan in to be able to do that so that's a plan to get started next week. I have ordered my shelves for the kitchen. They are actually due on Monday. They have been made and they're currently sat with the courier. That's the only thing, when something gets dispatched on a Friday, I did always have this, oh, will it turn up on Saturday? Will it not? But no, it's gonna turn up on Monday, but that's okay, because that's progress. Um, as you can see, I am getting close to finishing the Diamond Art Club Mother Earth. And what I tend to find, when I get to the last section, of the painting, so i.e. my cover paper sections, I have two here. When I get this way, rather than working across and then going back and working across, I tend to work upwards. I tend to find that it's all very similar colours. I mean, it is, of course, going all the way up. You tend to find that if you went upwards, you would have similar colours, but then again, you can have them going across as well. But yeah, I do like to change it up when I get to the end. And I tend to go upwards and finish the last two sections in blocks going across. So there is quite a bit of black on this section. So I'm starting with the black, gives me that bit of outline. And then sometimes if I know I have, you know, a nice chunk of time to diamond paint or maybe I'm having a, a, a long evening or a day where I'm doing a chunk of diamond painting then I'll do all this bit here but as I start to get to the blues I'll start to uncover the next sections so I am doing a bit of all the colours that link that way as well as all the colours that link that way but we'll see how far we get on today's whip and chats. I'm actually hoping on, hoping, I say hoping, 
depends what happens with the rest of the day. It is Mother's Day. So it may be that I just do a few shorter videos for this upcoming week. I normally film on a Saturday, uh, but with having stuff in the kitchen finished off. Um, by the time it got to the point that I could film, i.e. the electric would be on, so my lights work, uh, and there wouldn't be banging to the to the left of me, which is where the kitchen is. By the time it got to that point, I think I think my body had just switched off and thought it was having a relaxing day. So I, I carried on and I had a bit more of a chill day yesterday than normal. Had a pottering morning and a chill afternoon, which actually allowed me to get this stretch underneath what I'm doing. It allowed me to get that finished. Considering this was a large painting that I was going to be doing in between doing some of my other paintings, I think I've not stopped working on this one. Apart from doing my heaven and earth design, I've done nothing but work on this one since I started it. I think I do have a bit of a drive to get some of my large diamond paintings done as well. So once I've done this, I will do some of my smaller ones. And then of course, there'll be a de-kitting of this and a kitting up of my next large one, which I think is pretty good progress on my large paintings so far for the year by doing that. All right, let me get some more diamonds over to the side of my tray closest to the canvas because I have a very big block of black coming up. Let's get some of these little sections finished. I have gazillions of comments and questions on whip and chats. So if time permits today, I'm not sure if it will, or if time permits through the week, I might try and still sneak in um, in the month of March. I can't believe how quick March has gone. Um, but I'm I'm hoping to be able to still sneak in my heaven and earth design so that I am sticking to my challenge of completing at least one section of each of my heaven and earth designs on camera. Maybe if I can't do it today, I will try and film it one of the days this week so that I've, I've got it in in the month of March. Um, and yeah, depending on time, I do enjoy doing whip and chats. I do enjoy the fact that I get progress on whatever I'm working on as well. So maybe I will say it will all depend on how the day slash week goes. As we know, if I make too many solid plans, it doesn't happen. But I'm going to try and squeeze in a few more and get through some of the comments and questions, <coughs> throw in a couple of longer ones. I'm not sure how long this one will be. I'll be limited as well to make sure that I can get it sorted and uploaded for the right time. But I've uncovered two sections and we'll see how we go because quite a lot of it is the black, and what looks like 939. So I'll see how far I get. Time will probably determine when I stop and have to go and get it all ready. But I hope you've all had an amazing week. I've had a very busy kitchen orientated week this last week. It's all been about getting as many things ticked off and done for the kitchen. You know, painting, filling, picking up the kitchen bits that we needed, ordering the shelves. So there's been at least a trip to Ikea 
uh, and trips to other places as well. I've been nipping out different evenings to different places. And yeah, some of them have taken a lot longer time than I thought. Um, Anna, see we have a comment here from Anna for three weeks ago. So it definitely feels like the comments are getting further apart. I need to be able to rein that in. Uh, but she said, it looks like I've done a nice chunk of the Diamond Art Club Mother Earth already. She says, Diamond Art Club always has beautiful colours in their painting. Yes, there has been some absolutely gorgeous colours in this painting already. I know I'm currently working on black and this section has a lot of dark blue and of brown as well. But I have really enjoyed some of the bright colours in this painting, especially H907. It's been the lime green that brings a smile to my face whenever I do diamonds of the lime green at the moment. I don't know if you guys find that, if you're doing whatever painting you're doing, whether you find that you have a colour within that painting that just makes you smile every time you do it. But for me, on this painting, it really makes me smile when I pull out the bright green. I just find it brings, yeah, it's just a fun, Fun zesty colour is what it is. It's a nice, fun and bright colour. I just keep double checking that I've not missed any symbols further down. Uh, Catherine says, hi Rebecca. She said it was nice to see you single placing. Uh, she said, which is all she does due to progressive MS. She enjoys watching my videos since she found my channel uh, and good luck on the kitchen renovation. Thank you, Catherine. I am definitely a single placer. I, yeah, I just, I, I am a single placer. There are a couple of different reasons I prefer single placing. Um, they can be different reasons to other people and people can disagree with those reasons. But I kind of feel like I'm cheating if I multi-place. I also feel that I personally don't get the same sort of sense of achievement if I multi-place. I, I like to know that I've placed each and every diamond. I'm also very fussy about how multi-placers sometimes line up on a painting and I find that I am readjusting things quite often if I do multi-place that I just end up probably spending more time and therefore don't get I don't get that satisfaction that I want and I also spend more time doing it so multi-placing isn't for me you do you if it's for you but I quite enjoy single placing. I am finding that it gets a little bit harder when, when I'm right at the top because I can't pull the painting as far down on my easel as I normally would. Um, Army Moa Engine. I probably hashed that pronunciation. Um, they say, while I generally, uh, greatly, sorry, appreciate all of your uploads, no one would be upset if you missed a few. Uh, you're a mama, I am. She says, you're working, I am. <laughs> you're a business owner, I am. <laughs> and a content creator. Yes, that's many different titles, isn't it? Uh, she said, we all know that life sometimes gets busy. And if you do need to miss a few uploads to put yourself and your family and home first, then that's what you need to do. She says, you must say of all the different online communities that they're part of, um, 
Diamond, diamond painting is one of the kindest, most supportive and understanding of all of them. Stay happy and healthy. Love from Seattle, Washington. Oh, thank you for that. I do try not to miss uploads um, or to, you know, try and make sure that I do things enough in advance if I know I'm going to be having you know, a busy weekend or time I need to be away from filming. I do try and do as many as I can in advance. Sometimes that works, especially if I have a lot of paintings to de-kit or kit up or anything like that. I can often do some of those in advance, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, some weeks I am struggling as to what to upload, um, depending on, say, what I have available. So I know for this next week, I might try and slip some whip and chats in when I'd normally do tips and tricks. I need to find some time to establish the next batch of tips and tricks that I'm going to be filming and that I find is my problem at the moment. Maybe I should have stuck with 50 tips and tricks and not 100 uh, but I'm sure that I'll be able to find some more. I also need to find the time to pop up a Facebook post and ask you guys what tips and tricks, either ones that you know that I've not done a video on or maybe ones because quite often I will give a tip or a trick in a video and not necessarily think of it as a tip or a trick but you guys have often picked up on it actually being a tip so for example the what I just did with the black diamonds tipping a load of diamonds into my tray and working with a batch and then tipping them back to straighten them up and then going back. That was actually something that somebody mentioned to me to do as a tip and trick. Um, and the comments show that it did help people as a way of working with their tray. But I never thought of it as a tip originally. It was just, it's just something that I do. Um, and sometimes I just need to either take a minute and, and think through things myself or have people point them out to me as tips and tricks. So I might try and get some whip and chats in instead of those while I get myself organised with my tips and tricks. I say, we will see how the day slash week goes. I have a couple of unboxings that I will be filming slash uploading this week and I do have a kitting up this week as well. The kitting up has actually already been filmed. I actually squeezed that in last weekend because I got excited to kit it up. So yeah, I have, I have got a couple of videos but if there is the odd day that is missed um, I'm trying to line up videos on my second channel so that there will still be a video a day from me. It just it just actually might be quite heavy with unboxings this week. Unless I can sneak in some more weapon chats. We will see what the week brings. But yeah, getting the house done and getting the decoration in the house and the kitchen stuff finished off has is taking a bit a bit more of a priority a bit more of of my time at the moment right check i've got all of those little bad boys done i think i do on to the next brown and i actually took this pot out of my case it's not a good idea Keep it in the case. So I'm working on the colours going up here at the moment. I like to get myself a straight edge. 
a nice straight edge as soon as I can. So that's what's deciding what colour I do next. Uh, Janine, she said she was excited to see this video post. So when she got home, she said we could whip and waffle together. Uh, she's now caught back up, she said, with all of my videos on both channels. See, you guys, your life gets busy as well. There are many times I see people have said that they've caught up. I do the same on some of the YouTube channels that I watch. Sometimes I have quite a few days where I don't watch any YouTube and then I play catch up um, when I'm having some lazier days. I play catch up with all the videos that I've missed. Um, she said she's working on customised bookshelf by Radolf Spandler from Diamond Art Club. It's her first Diamond Art Club painting, she said, and she loves it. Thank you for sharing your time and your tips with us. <coughs> some days, some day, uh, she hopes to have a little craft room splash, slash space of her own. Uh, much love and sympathy for the remodel upheaval uh, from Renton, Washington, USA. Thank you. Yeah, we finally got to the point where we had got all the painting done, all the filling, all the touching up done. And then the extractor fan was fitted yesterday, which involved channeling out a space for the power to go. So we have a bit more filling up and a bit more touching up. But it's not too bad. It's definitely a lot more. It's a functioning kitchen. Um, and it, it's primarily looking a lot better, even though we haven't got the splashback done. We have painted the wall where the splashback is going to go. So that has definitely neatened everything up and made it bearable while waiting for a splashback. Because if anybody knows, if you remove tiles and stuff off a wall, which is what we've done, then they can leave some pretty nasty marks behind them. Uh, so we did give them a, because we knew that we hadn't yet ordered the splashback because we were waiting for, of course, everything to be fitted so that we could get the measurements and stuff sorted because we are looking at putting a glass splashback up, which needs the kitchen in place to be able to do. Um, I knew that I wouldn't want to just keep looking at at a bare wall while waiting for the splashback. So we decided to paint, to just fill in, skim over, just so it was smoother. It's not, it's not a perfect plastered wall, but it's, it's definitely better. And it's all one color now, which makes it a lot more livable. Makes the bathroom, uh, not the bathroom, the kitchen feel a lot more finished off and feels a lot, a lot better and a lot more, yeah, workable. And, and the kitchen makes us smile as we walk in rather than flashing with what we need to do, what needs to be finished, etc. So that's good. Um, yeah, hopefully, Janine, you can carve out a little bit of space for you, even if it's, you know, half a wardrobe. Diamond painting, I mean, it can take up space, but it also can be quite compact, which is good. I know with, with scrapbooking, it wasn't quite the same. Unless you were somebody that could just work from one kit, then you always needed to have multiple choices, or at least I know I did, multiple choices and options to work with to be able to get the desired page that you want. And I found that took 
a lot more space than diamond painting does especially if you know you limit the amount of diamond paint. if you're able to limit the amount of diamond paintings that you have to you know a reasonable amount you've got some ready to work on you don't feel as though you've got nothing then it is possible to be a bit more contained okay i think i'm done with that one so let's get that back in and number four trying to make sure i put the pot back in my case because i can be known to have them all over my desk um, and sometimes I just put them on the desk and I don't quite know where I've put them. And I, there's about five or six different places I could just set the pot down. So by putting it back in my case, it's a good habit to have and it's easy to tip the diamonds back in. When it's in the case, then it can stop the pot potentially falling over, which is not fun when that happens. Uh, Lotta said hi from Sweden, uh, love my whip and waffles and said it's so calming listening to you and your work is always so nice. Uh, hugs from Lotta. Oh thank you Lotta. Hello to Sweden. Many many countries um, get together in both the Facebook group and you know this comment section on YouTube and it's so nice to see. That's the things about hobbies and crafting especially. I find, I do find crafting is a very nice hobby a lot of the time. I don't know if it's the same for every single type of craft but it primarily has been with scrapbooking and with diamond painting. Uh, it's always such a nice bunch of people, always happy to help each other out where they can. Quite often I will go to answer comments and questions and somebody has already done it, which is so nice because sometimes it takes me quite a while to get to the comments and questions. So to know that people have got the answers quicker is amazing. Uh, just making sure I give a little heart reaction each time I answer a question. So if you ever find you get an email saying that you've had a heart reaction um, on a whip and waffle, it probably means I'm talking about you on the next one or reading it out. Um, Nelly, she says, hi, Rebecca. Um, she says she's doing a picture of a dog that is so dark, it's hard on your eyes. Yeah, there are some dark paintings that can be hard, especially if you're doing it in an evening, on an evening, when the light has has dimmed, or you're working, you know, with artificial light. It can definitely sometimes make things harder um, to see. She said um, she has one eye, Nelly has one eye that is not as strong as the other. She says, thank you for your help in this hobby of mine. Oh, you're more than welcome, Nelly. Um, and I hope you get the dog finished soon. If you do find you really are struggling, maybe try and just do the dog one in daylight hours and get yourself a different one to do in the evening and see if that helps. Um... She says, Nelly also says, hi, Rebecca. She says, you can get angled tips and places from Western Australia, Perth. Yes, so I have seen the straighteners, especially from Everlasting Tips, are amazing. I have found those. Um, they're, not, they're not the cheapest, um, but they are really nice quality. I don't know whether it's something we will be able to offer in the shop, but maybe that's something that I'll look into because that's the nicest straightener that I've found and I do have a couple of them. 
um, but it's definitely the nicest one that I've found. I just haven't been able to find one um, that you know we can potentially resell. So, but maybe I can buy buy myself a few, and you guys can all go shopping at Everlasting Tips if you want straighteners because theirs are definitely the best ones that I've found. Size wise, I think it is more than anything. The size of their straighteners are really nice. Uh, Kimberly, she says, hi, Rebecca. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to find where I'm next putting this, <laughs> putting this symbol. Um, she says, hope your kitchen refit is going well and that things aren't too crazy for you and your family. Now we have a hob and a sink. Um, it's it's amazing. Um, even just just having the sink and the tap back. I mean, we did have an outside tap fitted, so at least we we were able to use that when we needed to in between. But yeah, it's just it's just those simple things, and the sides did get fitted really really quickly. Uh, the worktops. So the company was. Actually, apparently, that I only found this out after they'd been and fitted the worktops. Um, but I was told by our kitchen fitter that our worktops were really quick compared to what they used to. Um, they were fitted in a week. So they were templated on one Thursday and they were fitted the following Thursday. Um, so we had a very, very quick turnaround. But I did find out that the company that fits it even though we ordered through ikea and um, the company that they use or is part of ikea not quite sure exactly how it works um they're based in warrington they're based in our town so that enabled us possibly to get a quicker turnaround than maybe others would or maybe it was just the time of year you know, maybe they weren't as busy um, and they were, you know, ahead or, you know, on time, on their ideal turnaround time. But we did. We got measured on one Thursday and fitted on the next Thursday. So that was really, really good. Um, she says, thanks for another longer whip and waffle. Mother Earth is looking gorgeous. Um, she loves all the bright, uh, vibrant colours. Well, it's a little bit duller on this one today, but yep, I get exactly what you mean. Um, she just received her new pen, uh, the blue and purple swirls pen, and the metal tips from your shop, she says, and they're amazing. Yeah, I am slowly but surely changing all the pens. So this blue pen is a pen that we sell and then the metal tip is sold separately. And I do really like the metal tips. I do need to change them into every pen. I just haven't got around to sitting down and doing that yet. But it will be a nice time when I do. Okay, that is that plus symbol done. Next one up is the L, which is the 939. There's a lot of this. So let's tip. I'm going to tip quite a few into my tray. And I'm going to do the whole shake. And then I'm going to tap all the excess out of my way. And work with my nice, my nice straight lines. And then I can always move that big clump back over when there's some gaps for them to sit in. Um, she says, thanks for everything that you bring to our wonderful diamond painting community. I appreciate you and your hard work so much, she says. Thank you from Ohio. Thank you very much. I feel like the last couple of weeks have been a bit crazy. Um, I know I have... Orders have got out as quick. Emails have not been responded to as quick, and I am sorry for that. I think we are 
I think we are pretty much fully caught up with emails this week. Um, it is amazing how much admin there is. Not only the shop, and it's probably less for the shop, um, but for YouTube, there is so much admin that goes into YouTube content, emails off the back of it, so, so many. Um, so yeah, apologies if it's taken a couple of days for me to get back to you on anything. But we are we are getting there um, in, in responding and having the time. Megan's also not been well at all this last week or so. So the shop launch, um, I pretty much had to do everything for the shop launch on my own due to how unwell she was, which we think, the doctor seems to think is tonsillitis, but we're also not sure if she has picked up chicken box from school as well, from the kids at school. So um, she may well have had a couple of illnesses all mixed in in one, which is probably why she felt so rotten. So, yeah, hopefully things will be a lot more back to normal when Megan is feeling herself again. It'll definitely help to even out the load. Um, Cindy, I'm still on comments from three weeks ago. Oh, I can see a few whip and chats in my future. Uh, she, Cindy has said another great whip and waffle. She does so love the long ones now. She said uh, she's always excited to when she sees a new one up, and she's so surprised that I stand for all of my videos. Uh, she thought that I only stood for the unboxing and the prepping of the canvases. She says she could never stand in place, uh, in one place for so long. Anyway, she says, still one of your biggest fans. She says, I love all that you do. Yeah, I think I have mentioned this before. I did used to have like a high, my table is higher in my craft room than the likes of a dining table. So I'm not stood up and stooped over. Plus I'm short. Uh, it is more of a standing desk. I did have like a higher um, chair, a folding like bar stool chair that I did use, but I found it was getting in the way more than I was using it. So I would start using it on a whip and chat and then I would just get uncomfy sitting on it and I would move. And yeah, if I had a bigger craft room, then yeah, there are definitely times that I think I would use it. But I found, you know, day to day, so packing orders, getting shorter videos ready for YouTube, um, ones where I did need to move about and get storage and get stickers and all the rest. I was just moving that chair out of the way so much that for the only time I really use it, which is a whip and chat, um, and I would use it periodically through a whip and chat, I would start on the chair and then I would move off and then I might get back on. It, it just wasn't worth the hassle of moving it about everywhere. When I do the really, really long whip and chats, the ones that are a few hours, I do often after an hour or so, I will go and make myself a brew and have a little bit of a sit down, you know, maybe nibble a chocolate biscuit. I've been known to have me tea in between and I will do all that sort of stuff in between and have that sit down and then I would just come back and stand up again. So, yeah, there's definitely... Um, there was pluses to having the chair, but the minuses were so much more that it's it's just not worth it for me. 
So yes, I'm stood up and so far I've done this whip and chat in. I'm, I'm still, you know, on the one sitting as such and due to time constraints I probably will be. If it gets to the point that I really need to sit down that will probably be me tying up this whip and chat. Um, but that's just due to upload time constraints. It's the way of the world. Um, but yeah, if I manage to sneak in some more, I don't know. I've only got, I think I've only got two days in my schedule that there either won't be a video or I'll sneak in a whip and chat. I do want to try and sneak in a heaven and earth designs. I say it will just depend on how today goes. How, how quick that tablet flipping charges. Um, but I may try and sneak that in. That one, of course, will be a smaller one because I just do a section. But then maybe I'll be able to sneak in some longer ones. Who knows? Never know. Might be the week after. New month. Might have some longer ones in April. Say so we'll see how it goes. Uh, Arissa says it's great to see the progress you've already made on this painting um, and a long whip and chat. She said today she was stitching while listening to the video. Yeah, I've still not done my back stitch on my Christmas image that I finished, well, finished the main stitching over a year ago. And I was planning on getting the back stitching done for this Christmas just gone and didn't. I do really need to, I think it's because I need to get my head around the back stitching for it, but I could really do with getting that done and sooner rather than later so that it is all done dusted and ready months before Christmas. But I just enjoy diamond painting so much that when I do get that downtime, it's diamond painting that I go for. It's diamond painting that I go to. And that's my, yeah, that's my chill time. So I'm not gonna beat myself up over that either. It, it will get finished one year and I will be happy and enjoy it once it is up on the wall one Christmas. And if that's not this year, then so be it. It'll be here for another year. Okay, 939 is done. Oh, we've got some sparkly ABs next. Number two. And I have found that as long as my glue dot is not like really brand new fresh, i.e. I don't have to keep dabbing it on my clothes every, you know, 10, 15 minutes to make it less sticky, that my glue dot will pick up my ABs perfectly fine and it does not pull any coating off or anything. So I just, I just use a glue dot. If I find um, that I that the glue dot that I'm currently using is too sticky for ABs, then I will often just grab my pretty placer for them. But I'm too lazy to grab the pretty placer every time. If the pen that I am holding and that I am doing the diamond painting with at the time is suitable, then that'll do for me. yeah it's got quite a lot of white ABs scattered around this painting and it's really quite nice. I will say that Diamond Art Club do the AB scattering I think really well. I have done one very small 20 by 20 I think painting that was all ABs. Every single diamond was an AB. And while it was very sparkly, I personally didn't like the look. I prefer a painting that is a mixture, 
primarily normal diamonds and a highlight scattering of ABs. I just think it looks nicer. I just think it has an overall, it makes those ABs really shine rather than just sinking in with everything else. But yeah, Diamond Art Club do ABs very, very well. I can't comment on the other companies that also do ABs yet because I don't think Timney Arts did as well, actually. That's probably the only other one that I may have done with ABs in it. Um, okay, let's have a look. I've got a couple here that need filling in. I don't want to go missing them. This one I think is only the two that I can see and there's not a lot of diamonds left in my pot. So I'm gonna use my pot like I would a tray. And I'm just gonna dip my, I've just dipped my pen in and grabbed the flat ones. Cause I don't think I have that one anywhere else. And then this E, that is in a few places, so I will tip that into my tray. But I do need to remember to get this one down here done. Because that's what I find sometimes if I'm following like the straight edge. So now all my edges are done. And I'm just going to use my straightener just to knock a few of those down a little bit. Um, but yeah, my edges are all now done. So then sometimes I will just start on the next row and go for whatever is the next one that I come across. But what I think I'm going to do on this one is try and fill in some of these gaps, but also know that I am going to start to come round and do all the way around this. I think it's a sun. I'm not sure. Sorry, my battery went then. <laughs> um, yeah, so because now I've done all the way around the edges, I think I'm going to concentrate on some of these bits that have got more scattered diamond colours um, before I move across this way. So we're going to go with this E just so that I don't end up say mainly missing a gap further down and then there's a few others that I'd like to fill in. There's quite a few that I can see that there's just one or two of. So I'm going to sort of clean up the section that I'm working on by filling in some of those gaps that have only got a few diamonds before I go back to some of the more blocky colours. So E is done. <coughs> Excuse me. So this yellow circle, there is only three. Is my glue dot sticky enough to pick them up? Looks like it might be. So I'm just gonna go for some pot pot dive in to get those three because that's all there was. I then also have this hourglass which there only looks to be a couple of. One down here. Get hold of another one. One up here. Is there any more? Not that I can see. So now let's look at getting some of these brownie bits. I think I'm going to look at getting some of these bits here finished before I then move up to some of these colours that then also spread into the sun. So this is the one that I call a pin. It's like a line with a circle on the end, a bit like a pin that you'd use in sewing. That's just the name of it that sticks in, in my head. Some people may call it a lollipop. I don't know what other names people call it, but in my head it's a pin. 
So I'm going to use, fill in some of this pin shape, mainly because I did have one scattered well away from all the rest. So I wanted to make sure that I got that. I think a lot of these blues are in both places. So they're scattered, but then they're also in this big circle. So I think, yeah, I'm going to get rid of quite a few of these darker colours and then I may do some of these paler colours here before I move on to all the blues and get some of those gaps filled in. Um, Fitzy Diamond Painter. Let me get my next colour actually before I start, start reading that out. Uh, she said, hi, I love your trays. Uh, she's using one, the same colour that I'm using, which is pink. Yep, yeah, I'm still using the pink one. This seems to, I'm using the pink Zesty. And for some reason, this seems to be my go-to tray at the moment. I don't know why, because there has been a lot of times that as soon as I've tipped the diamonds into this tray, I've thought, oh, I could have done with using the bigger one. Um, there's not a huge difference between the two, but I do seem to flip between which one I like the best. And at the moment, I just keep grabbing the Zesty. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's more effort to grab the, other, the next size. But once I've done it, I'm sure I'll be stuck on the big size for a while. Um, oh, um, Ditsy Diamond Painter says that her pink tray has some very faded lettering on it with four kids at 147. And it's her go-to tray. So yeah, that's one of our original trays by the sounds of it. Um, she said she's just got the gray one and she's planning on getting the white one next. She said, it's great that you're in the UK as well. Yeah, it's nice to have diamond painters from lots of different places, I think. It's different perspectives, isn't it, as well, when you're having a, a whip and chat. Sometimes it's nice to hear the familiar, you know, talking about places or shops that you've been to or that you've seen because it's your home country. And sometimes it's nice to hear those things from the perspective of somebody that doesn't live in the country. I think there's pluses and minuses. And that's why I think it's, it's nice to listen to or watch YouTube for a variety of different people, even if it's different topics as well. And um, there's quite a few home, home decoration type channels that I listen to and they tend to be, uh, I do have a couple that are UK, but then I have a couple that are American and it's, it's nice to hear the differences and see how things are done differently right let's let's go for the p let's get these gaps filled in i don't half like filling gaps i really do really like filling gaps um pull up the next comment as well when i start filling in all these little pieces up here it's like stars in the sky uh, Carpe DM does budgeting. I said they're trying to get back into diamond painting. I haven't done any real diamond painting apart from the cross stitch world ones on her iPad since last May when she broke oh both of her left ankles. No, both when broke. I'm not sure if it's both ankles or just her left ankle um, was badly that it needed an op as it was a dislocated fracture and also her right foot. Okay, so broke both but sounds like the left was worse. Um, she really wants to do the two heaven and earth design ones that they have. She thinks she needs to find a dedicated space uh, again, to set them up, 
so re-watching your videos has been a help. Oh, that's good. I am sorry to hear there are things that do just happen in life, don't they? And they just throw you off your game. Um, throw you out of your routine. We can often handle some things outside of our routine. You know, in effect, work them in to our routine. And then there are other things that just... Yeah, just upset the apple cart. But it can be righted again. It just often takes time. I've just spotted one that I missed when I was popping the peas up there. Uh, one of the white ABs that I missed. So I will look to fix that. I try often if I find ones that I miss. Sometimes if they're not easy to see... So if they're in the midst of a lot of confetti, I will put my tray down and I will fill it in straight away. I, you know, try and correct it before I lose track of where it is. And then sometimes the likes of that one, because I know exactly where it is, I will finish the colour that I'm doing and then I will fix it. I'll go back and fix that number one and fill that gap before I move on to whatever the next the next colour may be. I often find that it's, it can be easier to find the lighter ones if you miss them than the other ones. So let's pop those back. Let a P pick up the number fill that back in there we go now what's grabbing me now is actually this letter V because I've got one over here that I don't want to miss but I am also seeing these ones that are you know just a little cluster in themselves and I can probably just dip into the pot to get them so I'm going to mix it up I'm going to do my V's first Because I don't want to miss that one or that one and then I do have a few little clusters so say while some of these symbols are venturing into this next you know this section which is really my big section that's left I am trying to just corral my diamond painting, neaten it up just a little bit so that these outside areas I'm not constantly looking at them which in turn saves time. If I'm not constantly looking around and seeing whether the colour I've got needs to go in that section or not it can save a bit of time. Just a little bit. I actually picked up two then, it's like a multi-placed Little, little sneaky bit. Okay. Sorry, I was just getting a message pop up on, on my computer at that time. I do also need to put a load of washing out, so I might have a pause after of this symbol and go and do that and see if I can come back and finish this section in this whip and chat before I have to go and get it all ready for YouTube because I don't have I say I don't have that much left it can take more time than what I think but it can also take less time than what I think. And I don't like, I don't like finishing a whip and chat with a, not a section completed. It feels too bitty to me. It's that whole bittiness. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me go and get my washing on the line and I will come back and we will do the moon. Right, my washing is out. <laughs> Gotta make use of this sun while it's here. Eight, two, three. 
let's get some of these other gaps around here filled in because we've got quite a few let's start from the bottom sometimes it's where to start from but i'm going to start from those lowest okay next comment so nancy smith she said was happy and then she put in brackets okay excited to hear my name on this video rebecca will you get it again nancy uh, she says love your videos she says all of them uh, if only if i can only remember all the things that she wants to comment on Yes, things just go in and out, in and out of our brains. They do on mine as well. In and out. It's like I flip from one thing to another. Sometimes if I've got a pen and paper handy, I try and write them down. Other times it doesn't quite work that way. Um, she says, here is what I could think of. She said, St. Patrick's Day is the next holiday slash event day. So yeah, we did have St. Patrick's Day on the 17th of March was St. Patrick's Day. The only reason I know that is that it's a bank holiday um, because I work with Irish customers. We need to pay attention to the bank holiday. It's not something that's widely celebrated in the UK. There are people that do um, and all for it. It's not something that we necessarily celebrate. It's a normal working day. Um, she said then she'd say Easter and spring still lots of snow on the ground around her oh nancy i don't think i could be dealing with snow right now i'm very happy to be getting my washing out of my line and seeing seeing the weather change um she says she thinks tomorrow it will only be minus 10 outside so thinking spring is a must uh, she also loves the glue dot click it is a very nice resigning click, isn't it? Um, our current work in progress is a, a horoscope clock. She said an image she really likes, but the poured glue is not that sticky, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes she has to use tweezers to hold the drill down. Uh, she says your mother earth is looking great already. Thank you, Nancy. Let me get my next colour. I'm going to do the next AB because then that is the last of that top section. All the bits around the top section completed. And then I'm going to start my work on this bottom part. Um, so good luck with the kitchen renovation. Ooh. Get that, get that one to stick. There's another drill in its place. I've not quite placed that one straight. Um, it will definitely be worth the inconvenience. Yes, it already has been worth the inconvenience. Um, quite a few members of the household, of which there are six of us, of course, but quite a few members of the household do you know, still make the comment that the kitchen is really nice, which is good because we started looking at it about about a year ago, we started looking and then life got in the way for a while and then I think it was, it was actually last November, December, we were like, look, we just need to concentrate on this for a while. You know, it's along those lines of can't quite remember what you need to say slash do sometimes you just have to say okay this needs to become a priority we need to make some decisions and get it ordered and i am so glad that we did because it is already making a huge difference and it already looks so much nicer um much better layout for us now 
she said thank you for all the hard work on these videos for us and stay safe. Thank you Nancy. I do enjoy doing the videos. It is hard work. Um, sometimes it is very much hard work if I've not got you know the motivation or the energy sometimes to you have to be in the right frame of mind I think I have to be in the right frame of mind for filming and sometimes I'm just not sometimes I can start by filming a video and I will get and it will come to me and other times I'm just nah I'm just not there at all uh, I think that's what it was yesterday. I think with having so much time in the morning that was concentrating on the kitchen and all of that that needed doing and, and you know, getting, getting all that fitted and getting it all cleaned up. I think that's what just stopped me from filming uh, yesterday, which is when I normally do my filming. It just, it ground to a halt. Right, I'm going to get these done because these, this little cluster here is not anywhere else in this section. So that's the biggest one and the rest I just need to dip my pen into the pot for a couple. So the letter S. Let's grab those. I need to scroll up on my comments. Come on, glue dot, play the game with me. Let me just get a couple. It's easier when the pot is nearly empty to get a couple. If I can tilt it to the side and use the base of the pot to get hold of it, it's a lot easier. I know I could tip a couple into the lid, but knowing me, I'd tip more than I needed. Okay, so I'm gonna start down here now. Ah, uh, where's it gone? There we go. Let's, let's go for some pale blue. Pretty, pretty. Uh, Anat, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. A-N-A-T-E. Um, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says, I am finishing my last diamond painting. She says she has a lot of square diamonds. She says she can send them to me if I'm interested for my heaven and earth designs. Oh, thank you so much, Annette. Um, I do think I have enough at the moment. I probably need to do another sort of stock check with them. You know, maybe fill up, fill up my pots check whether I do have every single colour that I need or whether there's something that I'm not realising I'm getting extremely low on but at the moment I do keep topping them up with you know with every square diamond paint that I can diamond painting that I complete myself so at the moment I am good but thank you ever so much for the offer it is appreciated. Uh, Stories by Meh says, yay, another whip and chat with a smiley face. Everybody does seem to enjoy the whip and chats. I need to start thinking about which one I want to do for June. Because I do want to do one from my stash for June. I just don't have one in mind. Maybe I'll just let the app decide. I'll have to have a relook through my small diamond paintings and see if there's one that will work particularly better for a whip and waffle than another. You know, maybe one that's got a bit more confetti or a bit more of a, a different kind of design, maybe. Maybe that's what I go for. Who knows? Right, that's that colour done. Now, um, I could start with this next bottom colour and then go round the inside. But I actually, oh, I don't know. Yes, let's do that. I think I'm just, it doesn't really make any difference between which one I do. I don't have that many colours to finish. 
which should give me hopefully enough time to get this uploaded for four. If not, you guys will know by now because it will be up a little bit after four instead. Um, Jackie said it's a very satisfying hobby, um, diamond painting, she said, and gives us all sorts of different experiences. Shopping for kits and accessories, sorting out storage if you want to keep the spares. She says, plus there is kitting up, de-kitting, dotting the canvases, framing, and now there are a multitude of off-the-canvas goodies. Yes, there are loads and loads of off-the-canvas. And I do quite like the fact that you can bring diamond painting to other parts of your life on off-the-canvas. Some of them are more useful than others. Some of them are just pure fun. Uh, she says, love the videos. She says, you keep me company when I'm doing all sorts of things. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I do quite often watch YouTube videos when I'm cleaning up the house or folding washing is one that I often have a video on. It's just, you know, folding the washing is such a tedious task and putting away washing is such a tedious task I mean albeit I only do mine and hobbies the kids put their own away um, but it is really one of those tasks that sometimes just having someone else in the room whether that be a family member having a conversation with you or whether that be somebody you're listening to on YouTube can just make it go so much quicker. I mean, I don't iron. I will, I will avoid ironing at all costs. Um, things will get hung up if they need to be hung up so that they can not need to be ironed. Um, but yeah, I can imagine if ironing is something that you do on a regular basis, listening to or watching a YouTube video could make that feel a lot less tedious, a lot more enjoyable to have company while you're doing it. <coughs> okay, I'm on the arrow now, which is second to last colour. I don't feel like, I feel like it has taken a while to get this section done, but not as long as maybe I thought it would to finish the section. Maybe it's not as confetti as I thought. Um, Patricia says, love watching you work on this painting. So this was a comment on this Diamond Art Club, Mother Earth. So here you go, you've got another one, Patricia. Uh, she said, the colours are so vibrant. And in general, she said, it's so nice to have the long whip and chats. I feel like I have somebody to diamond paint with. Oh, you're more than welcome. I do want to fit in more long whip and chats, even just on the basis of, you know, being able to keep the comments and the chatting going. I know I could, you know, I know there are some comments that I read out that I could you know, just like or reply to on YouTube and, and not include them in whip and chats. But I do really enjoy including pretty much every whip and chat video in a whip and chat. Every whip and chat comment, sorry, that's placed on a whip and chat video. I do like using those in whip and chats to help the conversation go. And sometimes I go off on a tangent, a bit like now, and sometimes I don't. Um, the only ones I tend to not read out is there are a few people who do just leave an emoji, just to let me know that they're watching the videos. And I, while I appreciate every single one of them, sometimes I forget if, if I've mentioned the fact that they've done, you know, done the emoji beforehand or not, so I keep the odd one in, but then quite often I will just um, 
move past those ones or give a reaction to them before so they don't stay in my list of comments to reply to. Um, but I do appreciate people leaving those little emojis just to say I've been here, I've watched, but I don't have anything else to say. It's It doesn't need to be anything else to say. Um, but yeah, the, the longer whip and chats are required to keep on top of the comments. So yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in a few more longer whip and chats in the upcoming next few weeks. Even if, you know, it's just some time while I'm finishing this Mother Earth. Or maybe it'll be some time when I'm doing my next one. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to get some more in and get through some more comments. Um, oh, the cat lady. She says that she's listening to Abandoned in Death at the moment on Audible alongside reading a paperback by Nora Roberts. They're good, such good books. And, and I don't know what it is. Listening to somebody else read a book on Audible is very weird to me at the moment um, than, than listening to Susan Erickson. She says she too has recently rebought the Clan of the Cave Bear series of books as she disposed of them when she moved. She says this winter has been very cold up here in South Yorkshire. Yes, I can imagine it's been cold. Say so it takes a lot for us to get snow. Um, but yeah, spring is coming. We've had a nice few days. So spring is here. It'll go away for a bit, but it's pretty much here. There we go. Let's give you your first zoomed out. She's not totally finished, but she does have, well, she has her face. She has quite a bit of her head, but not all of it yet. So hopefully you'll see a little bit more of, of her if I manage to get back doing um, some longer stints of whip and chats to get through some comments. Some of these are still saying three weeks. Uh, but for now, I need to get this video edited and up so that you guys can all see it. And yeah, we'll see how the day goes as to whether I squeeze those videos in through the week or not. Time will tell. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.